Hello and welcome to this semester's first News Vision broadcast. I'm Matt Furman. Watch out, Starbucks lovers. Your next venti caramel frappuccino is about to get even pricier. Officials say it could be up to five days before this pipe is replaced and this intersection is reopened. Until then, residents of North Miami Beach are urged to reduce their water use. Reporting in Miami Beach, Matt Furman, Local 10. Thanks, Terry. For Loco is getting a little less loco. Razzle Dazzle already has a location in Coral Gables, and they just opened this one behind me in Mary Brickle Village. A landmark gym that opened in 1950 and closed in 1992 is back in action. UMTV's Ashley Minnelli brings us to the place that can teach anyone how to pack that perfect punch. New to Santa's Enchanted Forest this year is Windstorm, the world's largest movable roller coaster. The University of Miami can add another kudo to its growing list of accolades. The National Research Council ranks four University of Miami doctoral programs in the top of their fields nationwide. Starting now until November 11th, you can bring five articles of clothing to the collection site and receive a free You Are Awesome t-shirt. But Monday night was the day the music died here in Coconut Grove. That night, Crazy Piano shut its doors for good. Two-time Grammy winner Jim Lauderdale will appear tomorrow evening at Titanic Restaurant and Brewery as a part of the Miami Music Festival. Police say they believe it was an elderly man who struck Paul Jones, and they say X64 may be part of his license plate. Anyone with information is urged to call Coral Gables Police at 305-442-1600. Opened on Miracle Mile just two years ago, Razzle Dazzle is exploding in popularity. It's not the typical place to get a haircut. Owner Elena Lanieras gave us an inside look. Razzle Dazzle is a throwback in time to the 1940s where a classy service was, was rendered in an establishment and we established relationships with clients. Those relationships keep customers coming back and inviting their friends. Now the men of Miami have their own place to get away. I don't like to use the word spa because men are kind of turned off by that word because it's mainly for women, a spa, but it is uh, for them to receive um, pampering. That's the best word to describe what we do. One stop at Razzle Dazzle and you'll know it's unlike any haircut you've gotten before. The interior as well as the staff are ornately decorated. What, what separates Razzle Dazzle from everywhere else is, is the fact that I do believe in implementing sex cells. The girls dress very, very sexy, yet classy. We wear corsets. Um, we also have the guys wearing tuxedo shirts, um, vests with bow ties. It makes us look as that theme barbershop, kind of like a Disney theme, classic, uh, magical experience that you would get at Disney World. That's, that's kind of like what you get at Razzle Dazzle Barbershop. The walls of Razzle Dazzle are lined with all sorts of trinkets, posters, and elaborate furniture. So, where does it all come from? A lot of it comes from my house. I don't throw away anything. I go around to warehouses and look for good deals because I need a lot of stuff to fill up the, the space. But we're still not 100% finished. We're like 80% finished with the decorations because there's been so much going on, but we're almost done. Razzle Dazzle already has a location in Coral Gables, and they just opened this one behind me in Mary Brickle Village. The grand opening was a huge celebration with proceeds going to Safe Space, a shelter for battered women. My, my venue here at the grand opening for Brickle was to raise funds, which I did, and we're going to present them with a big check. And everybody at Mary Brickle Village supported us, and it was a wonderful, wonderful charity. Showgirls everywhere, the guys were in heaven. <laughs> but Razzle Dazzle is still looking to grow more. It's Elena's dream to make the shop a national chain. But I'm looking at opening up another location in South Beach, another location in South Miami, and then I'm going to go open up in New York. So you may be asking, this sounds great, but how can a college student like me afford a place like this? Everything is optional. So even if a guy's on a budget, he's able to come in and afford what we offer. If a guy's got a lot of money to throw around on himself and pamper himself, he could spend he could spend a lot more money also. Haircuts start at just $20 and go up from there. So the next time you need your haircut, head to Razzle Dazzle. For Kane's Eye View, I'm Matt Furman. Drills raging and pumps surging all evening and into the night, trying to clean up the mess from a sudden sewage main break in North Miami Beach. The explosion here at Harding Avenue and 71st Street sent chunks of pavement flying into the air, 
and that wasn't the only thing. I mean, it stinks too. It's not, <laughs> it's not like uh, a water main break. The stench of sewage is pungent all across the neighborhood, making neighbor Paul Frankhauser hope it all gets cleaned up soon. Glad to see they're virtually working around the clock, but as far as I'm concerned, they can't get it fixed fast enough. Adding to the headache is traffic problems this is causing in the area. The street is closed for a block in each direction. Until this is all cleaned up, motorists as well as pedestrians should avoid the area. Until the sewage line can be replaced, area residents will have to deal with some gridlock and, of course, that smell. I can describe the smell only as something you don't want to smell. Officials say it could be up to five days before this pipe is replaced and this intersection is reopened. Until then, residents of North Miami Beach are urged to reduce their water use. Reporting in Miami Beach, Matt Furman, Local 10. You've heard the commercials. You've probably driven past it. But have you ever taken the time to stop by and enjoy the gem that is Santa's Enchanted Forest? We sat down with Xavier Martinez to give us an inside look. We're the biggest holiday theme park in the country, meaning any theme park that has specifically to do with a specific holiday, we are the biggest one. Big is right. Santa's Enchanted Forest isn't your typical carnival. There's many different things to do here, you know, not mentioning just the food, which everybody loves. We have over 100 rides and attractions. We have roller coasters. We have over 4 million lights. We have displays. We have a lot of things that everybody can enjoy here. Yup, you heard that right. Roller coasters. They have four, including a special edition. New to Santa's Enchanted Forest this year is Windstorm, the world's largest movable roller coaster. All these thrills are what really bring in the college crowd. We get our college students. Uh, we have a lot of big rides, exciting thrill rides that, that college kids have fun. We have the Mega Drop, which is something that a lot of people enjoy. It's the ride that takes you up to the very top, you know, about 15 stories up and then drops you straight down. Uh, we have the Slingshot, we have bumper cars, you know, everybody loves a good bumper car ride. But that's not all. Santa's Enchanted Forest also boasts some impressive animal showcases, as well as all of your favorite carnival games. But most importantly, who could forget the food? My personal favorite is the turkey leg. Uh, we also have the corn on the cob. We have arepas. Everybody loves those. Tickets for adults are $25, and the park is open until January 9th. Reporting for UMTV, I'm Matt Furman. going around and seeing the tailgaters. They're fun and they're real fans. They're very loyal and I want to make sure I go out and thank them. Uh, and I've always done it. I've always, at every game, I'll go out and thank the tailgaters. How do you like that? We beat Florida in academics. I'm the backup quarterback. Uh, very well. Thank you very much. Oh, isn't that fabulous? Uh, email that to me. Yeah, I bet the FSU president wouldn't do that. Uh, I love going to the student section. I love the spirit of all of it, but most of all, I like to win. I think we're going to have a very good season. Wonderful coaches, a terrific young men, and they're ready. I'm President Shalala. Hello. I'm President Shalala, the president of the university. 
Very nice to have you here. New uniform. Nice to meet you. Hi, how are you? Welcome. Well, I'll go to the student section and I'll go to the crazy section, the other uh, end zone, and say hi to all the guys. And uh, probably we'll go up to the upper deck and say hello to the fans that uh, came and are sitting in the upper deck. Is it the players we have coming back as much as anything else? They have more experience? Uh, how are you? Hi, President Shalala, how are you? Hi, nice, very nice to see you. Sigma Chi. You know what? You're going to remember this for the rest of your life.